The Ebola virus that has spread across West Africa has been classified by the World Health Organization as the highest risk level, much more dangerous than HIV AIDS or SARS. Most people are doing all they can to stay as far away as possible. But as Tambo reports, some have made different decisions. After 21 days in quarantine, Duan Xuezhang is now back on the job in the infectious disease department at the Beijing 302 Military Hospital. He still remembers clearly his 68 days in Sierra Leone fighting the current most dangerous epidemic, Ebola. Because the virus is so infectious, medical workers cannot stay with the patients for too long as we normally do for ordinary patients. They can only work for one hour each time wearing airtight protective suits when treating the patients. Duan is one of 41 medical workers in the third contingent China sent to Sierra Leone to help fight the virus. They were working at the China Sierra Leone Friendship Hospital, one of 22 Ebola treatment facilities in the country. As the team leader, Duan standardized the diagnosis and treatment process. Case discussion, nutritional support, psychological counseling were all a must. In February, the local Ebola Treatment Command Center ranked the Friendship Hospital first among the 22 facilities. What we've done in dealing with the Ebola epidemic is far from enough. We need not only the medical services, but also local social mobilization to increase the awareness of fighting the virus. After all, it's a public health issue, and the medical treatment is only part of it. More attention is needed in vaccine development and production, the international response mechanism and early warning system. For Duan Xuezhang and his medical team, the top priority was, of course, fighting Ebola and saving those infected by all means. But others also believe protecting the medical workers themselves from the virus is equally important. As the chief medical expert, 50-year-old Nao Qing was responsible for not only saving patients, but also protecting his 163 team members from the virus in Liberia. Vital for protection is how medical workers put on and take off their airtight suits. The suit, designed particularly for the epidemic, has 11 layers. It needs 20 minutes to put on and 30 minutes to take off. Medical workers must wash their hands with high concentration disinfectant every time they take off a layer. Ebola is so far the most dangerous virus to medical workers, much worse than SARS. We need our medical team to be professional and effective, but most importantly, healthy. Only that can ensure that our assistance work in Liberia goes smoothly and that we can help as many people as possible. During its two months in Liberia, Ma and his team diagnosed five cases. Three were cured, reaching a recovery rate of 60 percent. No medical workers were infected, and there were no medical slip-ups. As of now, 6,700 medical workers in the world have been infected, and half of them are dead. To tell the truth, I was scared. It's very dangerous to take care of those infected, cleaning their vomit and body waste, which are highly infectious. But everyone forgot about the danger once they started working. Maybe it's due to the life-saving nature of doctors. I was very touched. The Ebola epidemic continues to haunt West Africa. China has delivered four rounds of humanitarian aid with the combined value of more than 120 million U.S. dollars and sent hundreds of medical workers to the field since the outbreak in April 2014. And more Chinese medical workers are going to the Ebola front lines. Duan Xuezhang and Mao Qing are now back in China, but they have made it clear that they wouldn't hesitate to go back to help with better equipment and medical technologies. Tambo CCTV, Beijing.